Hey guys, so I have this book here, Investing in Duplexes, Triplexes, and Quads. And I was talking yesterday a little bit about real estate, and I wanted to put this video up real quick and let you guys see. This is a book that really changed my life and got me into real estate. I'm not going to bore you with all the little minute details, because if you really want to buy it, you're going to enjoy those things, but a lot of people may not. Um, but here you can see some of the topics. So, for instance, some of the chapters are why real estate, why residential multifamily, the making of millionaires, creating wealth from thin air, buy and hold pyramid, refinance, using brokers to finance to your financial advantage, finding your property, valuation of your property, verification and due diligence, yada, yada. So the really interesting part about this is it talks about duplexes, triplexes, and quads. And the benefits of that is because when you buy a duplex, triplex, or a quad versus a single family home, if you want to rent it out, um, if you have a single family home and you lose your tenant, you only have one tenant, you, you lose your tenant, then there goes all your income stream. But if you lose um, one tenant on a duplex, you still have one more tenant left that's paying you. If you have a triplex, which is three units, you lose one tenant, you still have two that are paying you, et cetera, for a quadruplex, which is a four unit. Also, the advantage of having a multifamily home, um, a four unit, a three, a three, a uh, two, three, or four, I'm sorry, is when, once you get above four units to a five unit, then you have to pay a commercial, you get a commercial mortgage. Um, so that's usually about a 20% down payment. But the advantage of having a duplex, triplex, or quad is you can put less money down. So for instance, we got an FHA loan and put three and a half percent down. And when you do that, then you can really leverage your money a lot easier. So for example, if you're investing in stocks, you put all your money in stocks, but hundred dollars worth of stocks, that's where your value is. When you invest in real estate, you can buy a $200,000 property, but you're only going to put down 3.5%. So you don't have to upfront the whole money. So you get that leverage. That's where you really start making your money. Um, and also, as real estate grows and ages, it appreciates. So it gains value rather than losing value like a car. Um, so, so my roommate and I bought our property in 2016, April of 2016. And we bought it for 265000 We were renting it for... I think one one unit was eleven $1 hundred, another one was uh, about thousand per month. <clears throat> so I think there, there's a thing called a gross rent multiple GRM, which is talked about in this book, which is very helpful when you're um, looking at properties deciding what to buy. Um, but I think our gross multiple gross rent multiple was somewhere around nine point eight. So that was that's kind of a good uh, number to have. The gross rent multiple is the ratio of the property value um, divided by the monthly rent times 12. So your annual revenue, which would be like, so for instance, our property was 1,000 uh, 1, for one unit and 1,100 for the other. So that would be 2,100 monthly times 12, which is whatever that is. So we did 265 divided by um, 2,100 times 12. I think it, it worked out to be somewhere around 9.8, I think. Um, so once you figure out that number, then you can renovate the property. So we actually renovated our downstairs unit and rented out to a new tenant. And um, we were able to bump up the rent to about 1300 But unfortunately, we probably could have gone to 1400 but the market just wasn't there right now. There's not enough people. It's, it's winter, so it's hard to get tenants. Um, but when we did that, so that boosted our rental income. Um, if we, had, we figured if we had both units at $1,300, that would be 2600 times 12. And then if you take that uh, rent multiplier 9.8 times that value, that'll give you the new value of the home. Um, this is all explained in this book, which you should definitely, definitely take a look at. Um, so we ended up we figuring that our property is worth somewhere around $305,000 now, so now. So that would be an increase of about forty grand just by renovating the units and upping the rent. So when you up the rent, it creates value on the property. So we've created about forty grand in value. So the idea is... Once you do renovations to the property, you increase the value. Then you take, um, the, the banks will let you do um, a loan against the value of the property. So because we created that extra $40,000, a bank will let you take out a loan of 80% uh, of the value of the property. So 20% has to stay there um, for like collateral. And then we can take 80%, so 80% of 305,000. <clears> I think it works out that um, 40,000 isn't quite enough, so we can't do it. We still need like another five grand take that loan out but the, once that happens then we can take that 45 grand um that 20 percent or how was it yeah i think i said that wrong um you can take that 20 percent and use it on down payment on a new property so the 80 20 so you take 20 out you leave 80 there i think i said it backwards 
So you take the 20% and put down payment on a new property. So then you're still cash flowing on the, the one you have. Um, the mortgage gets increased, but it doesn't matter. Your payments all stay the same. And then you get a new property and you, your cash flow increases. So instead of making you know $1,000 a month, you're making $2,000 a month because you have two units. Um, anyway, all that is very clearly explained in this book. Um, I highly recommend it. I would not be in real estate if it wasn't for this book. And um, I'm going to put a link in the description um, that kind of goes through these things. And if you have any interest in being in real estate, this is a great way to start. Um, I know a lot of people like Grant Cardone, if you follow him, he preaches getting into a big, you know, like a hundred unit, 200 unit complex. Um, that was a little bit intimidating for us. So we just decided to do this and uh, we're, we're building our way up. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. We bought our house in 2016. Uh, 2018 February now and our price has already increased about 40 grand in, in about a year and a half um, so if you have any questions uh, further questions about this book um, put them down in the comments I'll, I'll take a look and I'll get back to you um, but I highly suggest this book I think it's only I think it was like ten dollars or something and then I mean honestly like it's 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 like priceless you know it's like so valuable so all this information is so valuable that just pay the 10 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever it is and, uh, and just get this book because it's really helpful. All right, guys, good luck out there.